In the name of God and prayers and peace be upon the messenger of God, we continue to talk about the story of Joseph. Peace be upon him. O oh, my dear son, do not narrate your vision to your brothers. Said our master Jacob, peace be upon him. To his son Joseph, peace be upon him. Jacob, peace be upon him, knew through the vision that Joseph, peace be upon him, would have great status in the future. And he took measures to try to create an atmosphere of friendship and serenity between Joseph and his brothers. He feared for Joseph the jealousy and envy of his brothers and explained to him the reasons that would lead them to envy him and be jealous of him. In his saying, my son, there is the affection, kindness, compassion, and mercy of a father toward his son. In his saying, do not narrate, he forbade talking about this vision because every favored person is envied. In his saying, do not narrate your vision to your brothers lest they plot against you, it means they plot against him because of this vision which arouses envy and jealousy. So Satan exploits this gap and increases the hostility between the children. Of course, we are talking about this story that takes place in the house of prophecy because Joseph is the son of Jacob, Jacob is the son of Isaac, and Isaac is the son of Abraham. Peace be upon them all. This house remains a house of prophecy, but our master Jacob speaks about the nature of man and human beings, the nature of good and evil intertwined in man, and about conflict, how to treat it, and ways to prevent it. In the end, we are talking about human nature. Do not relate your vision to your brothers, lest they plot and scheme against you. Satan is man's sworn enemy. Jacob, peace be upon him, said. This is a very important lesson in this story, as Jacob, peace be upon him, explained to Joseph the danger of this clear enemy. The story of Satan, as you know, came in the Quran as well. When Adam descended, he told that to his children and Abraham, peace be upon him, as well as Isaac. And here Jacob confirms the statement of the reality of this Satan as a clear enemy. The important lesson is to instill in the souls of our children from childhood enmity towards Satan, who is the clear enemy, and to explain Satan's ways methods and means. These sacred Quranic verses are among the important lessons about that. The clearest explanation of the truth about Satan is in the Holy Quran, which explains the details of this accursed enemy in such a verse and others like it. He said, because you have lured me, I will ambush them on your straight path. Then. I will come at them from their front and from their back and from their right and from their left and you will not find most of them thankful, Satan said. This devil will survive until the day of resurrection, until the day of the appointed time. God said, to this day and throughout human history, he has contributed to misleading many people and led them into polytheism, transgressions and sins. In this day, he leads organizations, systems, leaders, and forms of misguidance, transgressions, and sins. So, introducing offspring to the truth about Satan and his story is an important lesson. Then Jacob, peace be upon him, said to Joseph, and so your Lord will choose you, i.e., through interpreting dreams. Our master Jacob, peace be upon him, knew that God Almighty will choose his son, chosen by God Almighty, and will teach you the interpretation of events, said Jacob, i.e. interpreting dreams. Some scholars said that what is meant by the interpretation of events is knowledge of the outcomes of forward-looking matters in the future, whether it is through visions and interpretation of visions, or through science and knowledge, and the accuracy that God has given him in looking and contemplating so that he has the ability to anticipate the future in multiple and diverse issues, whether political or economic. But the most likely meaning, and will teach you the interpretation of events, 
is that it is the visions that Joseph, peace be upon him, was famous for interpreting. In our Islamic history, Muhammad ibn Sirin is famous for interpreting visions, which is a gift from God Almighty to whomever he wishes among his servants and will complete his favor upon you and upon the house of Jacob, just as he completed it before upon your forefathers Abraham and Isaac, Jacob said. This great favor is the favor of selection and prophecy. In his saying, just as he completed it before upon your forefathers, there is a benefit that the father is also used to refer to the direct and the upper grandfathers. At the end of the verse he says, Indeed your Lord is knowing and wise. When he said, And will teach you the interpretation of events, and will complete his favor upon you and upon the house of Jacob, just as he completed it before upon your forefathers, Abraham and Isaac, we note that our master Jacob, peace be upon him, linked his son to the blessed sequence of the great righteous sires. There is no doubt that Joseph, peace be upon him, learned the story of Abraham from his father. Of course, our master Jacob told his children the story of Abraham, peace be upon him, starting from the period of Iraq and his migration to the Levant region and the country of Hejaz and ending with the building of the sacred house of God. His story contains lessons about beliefs, morals, affliction, empowerment, and other issues. This first education at the age of 10, 9, or 12 years, instilling the values of monotheism and linking children to the sequence of prophets and messengers is the great nutrition on which children depend in their youth and adulthood, as we will see in the story of our master Joseph, peace be upon him. Our master Jacob draws for us the main outlines on how to instill values in the souls of our children when they are young, around the age of 12 years. There are significant and great lessons in the speech of Jacob, peace be upon him, to his son Joseph. We can draw inspiration from these lessons and imitate them in our lives to insert these values in our children and connect them to the sequence of prophets and messengers. We continue in the next episode, God willing. إِلَّا <تصفيق>